Howdy fellow slow motion peeps. In today's video we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, it's a series I've been wanting to try for a while. We're going to do a start to finish design uh, and this product will be on the color light glass. It is a printable glass product uh, that the folks at uh, condi.trans.com were nice enough to send to us to try out something. And I have just the thing to design. We're going to design a uh, like a memorial plaque kind of thing. It's going to be the, the size is an 8x10 by the way. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on into exactly how I go about doing this. Okay, now, as you know, the first step is finding a background, um, which I've found this. It's like a, like a heaven-looking background. Um, I usually do uh, pixabay.com to find free like background and photos and stuff. That way you don't run into any copyright issues or anything like that. Um, I think the term I searched for was just heaven. And see, there's some good ones. You could just, uh, I may have just done sky, but nonetheless, I found something that would work. Um, all these up here are sponsored ones. They're uh, usually from iStock or something. So usually I try to find one down here that'll work. That way it's just, uh, you know, royalty free. Is that it? I don't know. But nonetheless, you can actually download this in, uh, let's see, up to a uh, 5400 by 3000 image, which is going to be perfect size for, for what we're wanting to do. I went ahead and got the file set up for the memorial thing as well. Um, and I went ahead and measured this guy, and it's uh, it's right at 8 by 10. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make something that's uh, 8 and a quarter wide by 10 and a quarter tall. That way it gives us a little bit of wiggle room when we sublimate it. And we're doing 300 DPI, um, RGB color, and everything. And there's our design. So what we want to do basically is, uh, First things first, we're going to go ahead and drag our background over. So just to do this, you just basically, if you need to Photoshop, you can just drag it over there and drop it right on into our uh, 8x10. And see, it's just about the right size. Like, I want to get the, 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 the hot spot of it kind of centered. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger, but it shouldn't be blurry. should still be pretty nice. See? Like it's not it's not pixelated. It's just almost like a watercolored image, which I I, I can get jiggy with that. I'm I'm good with that. And th these are some of the fonts I was looking at messing with. Um, I was also looking at doing Celebration of Life, but I think I'm going to do it in Love and Memory kind of thing. Um, so what we're going to do, um, I'm probably just going to do a faded square. Um, well, let's go ahead and do the background. Let's go ahead and color the background because that's a little dark for memorial thing. So what you're going to want to do is go to image, um, and if you want to, you can either make a copy of the. If you want to do it unaltered, you can. First, let's be good and name our background. Name it background. And then we can right click, duplicate it, and go on and hide it. And that way, you can see we can do things like change the opacity of it. But we're going to recolor it, and I didn't want to be destructive to the original. Although, there, we could just go back. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just increase the brightness a little bit. And also a little bit more contrast to get the blue up a little bit. And see, then we're going from this to this. And in addition, we're going to go ahead and run it through uh, curves. And we're going to just bump this guy up. And see if we can alter some of those blues. Like that. Something like that. Something a little more vivid. That's what we're after. So we went from this to this. And then we can also do levels. We can also slide the levels a little bit to bring some of the, uh, well, you don't want to, you won't want any dark. You want it to, you want to try to accentuate Whoop, too much. Something like that, I think is perfect. So now I basically went from that, and the color corrected is much brighter. Looks like that. So next up, um, you know, there's multiple, there's there's a hundred ways to do this. You can manually, um, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do like uh, something with like feathered edges. Now you could sit here, we'll do this uh, the way I used to do it when I was like terrible at photo, when I was just learning Photoshop. I would literally sit here and go 
and do this and sit there and change the opacity to like 5% and sit here and do this. And eventually you could get it looking pretty good. I don't suggest doing this at all. I'm just saying you could do this. And then when you transfer it over, it's not that bad. That is not the way we're going to do it. That is not the way I recommend doing it. The way I recommend doing it is to just simply take something. I think a square is fine. If we did a square, it's fine. Try to keep them centered. And there we go. Just like that. And what you want to do, you want to go to Feather, Modify, and you can feather the edges. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to try to do a radius of... Uh, maybe like 80 we'll do 80 and see what that'll do is then you can copy it we just did control C or copy and then you can paste it as a new layer and what it'll do is it'll kind of it'll keep the edges and then you can what we'll do before we start being destructive to it we'll do that now we can go in here with our eraser tool and hand blend it a little bit. We're at 6%. We need a bigger eraser. Probably like a 400. There we go. Then we can go in here and just kind of blend the edges up a little bit. If you really want to just fine tune it and get the hard spots out. And all I'm doing is just clicking, dragging, and erasing. And this will, we're trying to get rid of the, some of the hard lines. Now, up top, I'm not that worried about it because we're going to have text over it. But you can see some of the hard lines start to disappear. Mainly that one in the bottom. Now, what we're going to do is uh, probably going to do, probably going to do this font. Uh, Great Vibes, this one is Brotherhood Script, and this one is Black Sword font. I kind of like Black Sword though. Black Sword's kind of fire. All right, but what we're going to do, we're just going to click it, drag it over. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do this in two lines. So we're going to do in loving. And we're going to do memory. And what we, what you can do if you want to, if you really want to be specific about a, a guideline, you can take it and drag a guideline. And you'll see the guideline will kind of snap to the middle. And this won't be visible on your uh, on your actual print. So what we'll do is we'll just do that. We'll do that, and we we may even arc the text once we get it how we want it. Probably we'll do that. Um, we'll go ahead and change the the color of the text. We'll go to something more like that. And then what we're going to do is now the text effects are you can add a lot of stuff. Like you can just add a simple drop shadow that'll really like it'll. That's not a drop shadow. My bad. So you can do a simple drop shadow, and then you can uh, play with the distance, play with the opacity, play with the size, and really get it dialed in how you want it. But that's not what we're going to do, because we want like a cloud flowy look. So we're going to do a white um, outer glow, kind of like that. <laughs> There we go. So see something kind of like this. Something like that. And see it starts to, uh, you can start making it look pretty good. What we can do, we can make this a little bit bigger. Now granted it's going to auto, it's going to scale it right. So then we only have to mess with the, uh, the, the other ones and see so we can make this a little bit bigger so like we can go to like 125 font and that'll make it about 25% bigger now this one we might not be able to but we can go to like 110 and see still looks really good although with the bevel I don't think that's going to work because the bevel is going to take up a little bit of space so we're going to undo that because these panels have like a probably a half to three quarter inch bevel so with that being said maybe we should just do like 110 now um, we can also do a drop shadow if we do it just right you're gonna have to really increase the distance and you're gonna have to give it so you can control the angle and stuff 
and you can do it if you do it right it'll give it a little additional depth and that might not be the color and we might even do like a gradient color not that obviously but like if we went from say a really like light light blue to like almost a not that it needs to be like this tone but something like something more like that I don't know that I'm sold on that font what's this one brotherhood script the That font looks weird. It looks too tall. Uh, great vibes. We'll try great vibes. This is how it always is. Looks too cartoonish. My black sword looks the best out of those, but we're going to do a quick through and see if we can find something. Um, that's terrible. Best deals isn't bad. Brotherhood script. <laughs> Chillers looks terrible. This is a font not to use. Not too too much. I guess that if you're running a kid's lemonade stand. Um, no. You'll know it when you see it. You'll know it when you see it. Like that, that's not bad. Ellie's not bad. That's great day. Great vibes is okay. Hmm. I kind of like infinite stroke. Why you know center? I guess, it, yeah, okay. I guess I could just drag it. It'll stay center. And the reason I copy and paste the layers is because, uh, so it'll save all the formatting and changes. And see, we got something decent right here. Like, that's not a, like, we could fix these hard lines a little bit better. We could take the eraser tool and just kind of make sure we're on the right thing and kind of fix those hard lines and you can see as you go over it with the mouse I'm only at like 6% opacity so as we go over it you can see how it starts to blur without the lettering it doesn't look as clean but it's still pretty good like there's a pretty hard edge up there but once you drop the lettering on it ain't so bad like if we really wanted to be pe peculiar about it we well, could go in here and get here between these letters we really want to be peculiar Let's see and that way you can you can see how it's a softer right at that spot you could also color correct that image Photoshop's thinking if you do auto sometimes Photoshop is like I don't know what you want I'm, I'm with it Photoshop I'm with it Photoshop levels. Ooh, that's a little too aggressive. That's a little too aggressive for me, Photoshop. It's not bad, though. But we want it to look kind of... kind of lighter. There we go. I don't know if that's the right color blue. It's not bad, though. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. But yeah, something like this is what you want to do. And we're going to sublimate this on glass later. Um, it's going to be in a future video. But yeah, this is the uh, this is the process on how I do something like this. kind of start to finish. Um, nothing special at all. Basic Photoshop stuff. And when you zoom in, I know the, the picture's not great quality. But like everything else about it is just fine. And it, it, it'll print fine. It'll be beautiful. Um... So yeah, 
uh, we'll go ahead and get this saved and we'll go ahead and get it printed and that'll be for a whole nother video Um, but yeah, that, that's how you do it, guys. Um, so if, if you like this video, uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, go ahead and drop me a comment below if, if, if you want to see more content kind of like this. Um, you know, this is a new thing for me, a start to finish kind of project. So if you like it, just let me know. And I'll, I'll try to do more of it anytime I do a design on something. And guys, before I forget, um, I just created a Facebook group for uh, for like-minded sublimation people. I'll go ahead and drop that in the description below. And also, I finally released my mobile application that I'm very proud of. It basically shows uh, shows you you put in what your what equipment you have through for sublimation stuff, and it'll tell you what all blanks are there, and give tutorials on how to do it, uh, where you can buy it from, and the time and temperature and all that. Uh, it's a free app uh, available on. Uh, it's, it's basically a web app, so it's available on iOS and Android. Uh, check that out. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below for that as well.